guys, it's Kubi again with another ROM review and this time I've got the unofficial version of Resurrection Remix which has a few more enhancements than the official version of course so let's get started. guys the unofficial version of resurrection remix let's get straight to the point i am a huge fan of all the unofficial versions of resurrection remix uh the official version is cool it has a lot of features and it does have all those nitpicks which i normally use to liken on a resurrection remix rom but it is usually the unofficial versions which actually make me want to use the resurrection remix rom because the unofficial version at least in no get things there were hundreds of uh, features available with uh, all the different versions of unofficial versions. Now with audio, they have slightly changed their position and uh, they are not allowing for unofficial versions, save a few of them. Um, this one is one such thing and uh, I don't really remember the developer's name because it's a hard one. I'll just link in the description so you can check it out. It does have a lot of improvements over the official version and this is a very likable package. Let's get started now. First of all, uh, what you saw there was the launcher. This is the launcher which will come since Trebuchet. You get all the features of Trebuchet. If you don't know Resurrection Remix, I have made a review on the audio version of Resurrection Remix. The feature set is gonna be almost similar, but there are a few enhancements which I will get to. First of all, in the About Phone page, you can see Resurrection RROS version 6, that's the audio. This is the version number or the date of release. Audio version is 8.1, April 5 security patches. Uh, kernel version is Cesium Extended, which is a different version of the Cesium kernel, which the developer of this one has a little bit more tweaks and improvements on it. Works out really well. Build number is this one, and Silence has an enforcing. And uh, before that, if you are able to see, there are uh, screen corners, or you can see that. It's available, and that's pretty cool. I'm not really sure uh, if many people would like it, but I do I do like that, so that's pretty cool. Now, let's get to the features. Before that, everything works, no issues uh, overall. It, everything does work out really well. I've already mentioned of all the features in my Resurrection Remix review. Uh, you can check that out for all the decent uh, introductions. But for the majority of people, let's get through it very quickly. Clock and date options are available. You have all these options available, which is pretty cool. Graphic indicator controllers are available, notification ticker can be enabled and there is animation styles also available. Battery setting style is available with battery bar, you can customize that, works out really well. Status bar, weather can be enabled and font also can be customized for that, brand logo and custom logo can be enabled. System icons are available, you have to enable VLT icon manually and as default it is disabled if you are someone who uses that. Something which I really do like is no SIM network hide which is pretty cool. If you don't have a SIM, slot, SIM inserted in your slot 2 or slot 1. It will just hide everything from the status bar itself. So that's really cool. I really like that. Status bar gesture can be enabled for both, both of these. Carrier label can be customized. And system UI to you can customize what all appears in the status bar. In the panel option, you have customization for the custom header. You can customize that. But, uh, it works out really well. Volume panel can be customized. It can have the borders and all that. Power menu customization of, of also available for the background intensity and or the opacity of the power menu works really well notification stuff you do have customization for all of this one it works out really well i'm really uh, i really like the kill app button option because if any application goes rogue you can kill it from the status bar itself quick pull down options are available quick pull down and the smart pull down is available tile layout is available and uh, it doesn't have a small quick uh, small quick setting tile layout option uh, but you can customize uh, scrollable if you are someone who uses that Tile titles, uh, brightness slider, auto brightness, clear photo warning, all of that can be customized. In the advanced option, you have easy tile add, vibration on the pan panel background, opacity is available. One more thing which is really cool in the this version of uh, Resurrection Remix, that is unofficial version, is that the, ba the uh, notifications are dark. There is no dark notification available, which is pretty cool. I really like the dark notification option. I don't think it is available in the Resurrection Remix official one, so it might be added in the in the near future. But as of now, this one has it. In the recent menu, you have clear robot and clear robot styles can be customized, which was which was one of my favorites in Nogat Resurrection Remix. General UI can be customized. The icon pack, uh, hidden applications if you are having any trouble with it. Trim distance is available if you want to use that. In the interface options, you have fingerprint settings, so you can have authentication vibration. And also FP unlock if you are restarting, and that will work out really well. Display size now I have set it to large. It comes with 420 DPI, so 
I've set it to locked so, so that I can take a video of it. Heads up display. In the heads up display, you do have timeout and snooze timer, which is not available in the selection that makes official. Sound options are available. Volume panel can be customized from here also, which is pretty nice. Sound option, theming, and all that is available in the theming. There is auto magic mode, which does work out if you have a very eccentric wallpaper. It will adapt to the themes and accent to the wallpaper, which is pretty cool. All options are available and less annoying in call notification by vibration instead of any notification itself, which is pretty nice. Screenshot notification. Uh, screenshot options are available. I really would have liked the screenshot uh, cut and share option which was available in Nougat. Not really sure why no other ROM has actually gotten that to work yet. Really need that because someone who shares as much as I do, that needs to come to Oreo. It isn't available in Oreo yet. The miscellaneous option, you do have uh, three finger gestures, make on plug, slow fourteen button, that is uh, the button here. Sensor block per package is also available, it uh, should give you a little bit better battery life. The lock screen options, you have security option, quick unlock, face unlock is available, that is OS style face unlock. Lock screen visibility on uh, reboot and advanced button, that's power menu options are available, you can customize that, works out really well. In the lock UI option, you have you can get battery info, media cover art, clock widget, date widget, all of that can be customized. Ambient music ticker is available if you want that and also percentage on the ambient display if you want that. Weather option is available, you can enable or disable weather option on lock screen if you don't want that, just disable that. Bottom shortcut can be customized, mid screen, uh, mid screen shortcuts can also be customized which was a slim feature, but now available on this one also. In the button section, you do have hardware control, you do have backlight option like you should and also uh, DUI button customization which is really nice been using that really well and uh, it's not a problem power mini customization is available which does work out and it does have omni go on the go and also flashlight option which i really really do like it does work out really well and i'm really happy about that long press uh, power button force torch when the screen is off is also available which i do tend to use a lot volume rocker customization is available with the keyboard cursor control volume control playback controls and all that works out really well i'm really happy about that uh, extras option you do have prevent accidental touch pocket detection additional buttons you do have option for more than just the normal stuff which is available with uh, the other one so you do have total silence vibrate all notification all that i believe the official version does not have all of these features so that's an additional thing navigation bar can also be enabled and it does have all the options pulse mode smart bar sling settings all of that is available animation settings you do have system animation which you can customize which is really cool List view animation can be customized and also interpolator can be customized. Toast icon can be enabled and also colors can be customized for that. Scrolling modifiers, uh, scrolling cache can be enabled, disabled. Screen of animation can be customized, which is really cool. In the guest option, you do have guest anywhere. Pie option, which is the PA style pie option. If you are someone who uses that, that will be pretty cool. App circle bar is also available. In the miscellaneous option, you do have transfer file instead of charging. So whenever you connect the USB connections to your computer, it will go into MTP mode instead of charging, which I don't really like that, I just want the battery stuff whenever I connect it first. So that's one thing. Play clock and alarm blocker is available, suspend action is also available if you want a little bit more juice when you uh, turn off the screen. Weather options can be customized and this is the normal weather option which you will be finding with normal stuff. Omni, Omni jaws are available and you can customize that system Omni viewer and also IMES settings if you want to use that. And then we have the about phone page which uh, well of course it is the staple of our ROMs, works out really well, you can check out all the people who are here and uh, it's pretty cool. Now that is it in the extra stuff which is normally out of reach for the other ROMs. Now again in the display option you do have live display which is one of my favorite features in a lineage based ROM. It even has color profiles and I am a huge fan of the dynamic color profile, it even has DCI-P3 if you are someone who uses that. Now earlier the official version did not have this but the uh, unofficial version did. I guess now uh, the official version also has the color profiles in, in build because I saw that in the change log, so that's available. Uh, display mode can be customized if you want that and outdoor bright mode is available if you are someone who uses that. I'm really a fan of that, it works out really well. And besides that there is fun size, the display size option, ambient display options are available, you can customize that, works out really well. Prevent accidental wake up is available if you are someone who uses that like myself. And uh, security option, you do have a scramble layout in here and also directly pin and automatic lock all of these options are available visualizer is available which you can enable from here and also media cover out option now apart from all of that you have in the system option system profiles which i did uh, talk about in the, my previous resurrection remix option if you're someone who uses this one this will be invaluable for you but if you don't really care about it i mean you shouldn't really care about it in display option or gesture option you do have options for the off screen of gestures which is pretty cool you can customize that works out really well 
jump the camera by double tapping the power button is available and you can customize that i'm really happy about that so yeah and that is it in the feature section of this form as i've already said this resolution remix has always been one of those feature rich feature brimming roms and i do use to dub it the feature king of uh any rom actually so i really like that but this time it's probably not the feature king of things uh there is a more feature rich rom which i have seen that is the msm extended as of now and uh, uh this one although has almost uh, as much features i do feel the msm extended rom has a little bit more features like screen stabilization things like event manager and the latest version works out really really well so i really like that this one i'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 for features now the battle life of the rom the battle life of the rom um let me just say it hasn't been stellar but it's okay i don't really expect a lot of battle life from a resurrection remix rom i have never expected it and i don't really get it either so uh the battle life i got was about uh 15 to 17 percentage of active ram which is kind of a little bit too much and about 1.4 to 1.6 percentage of idle ram which is also not the best but not the worst either so i'm really happy about the uh everything which was there uh, apart from that i can get through with a few days of that life not using it so you can see it's not not the best one but yeah i can live with that so that life i'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for battery now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom has been um what should i say it's the worst performance which I've seen, at least in the benchmark scores. I've, I've done like 8 or 9 tests in varied time and temperature range. And uh, this is probably the highest I got. The highest I got was about 106,748. So not the highest score in any regard of the words. I mean, the highest I got was about 150, 160,000. Uh, so it's a fair amount bit lower than that. Not really sure why or uh, what is causing that, not really sure about that, but I, what I do want to talk about is that the benchmark score doesn't really reflect on the options which I get from this one. Everything works, I didn't really have much issues with anything else working. I don't really play a lot of games, so I'm not going to uh, evaluate gaming for just this ROM because of the benchmark. I understand if you are uh, you are pissed off about the benchmark score being the benchmark for that, but that's how I've always rated it. And uh, for the benchmark I got it, I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 10 because that was the worst score which I've seen on this phone yet, so 4 out of 10. Now the stability of the ROM. Stability has been rock solid, no issues as such, I didn't have any issues which I've uh, found. I've been having a blast with it, so I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for stability. Now the camera on the camera options, I really like the camera package offered in this one. It comes with snap camera, so I really like snap camera, it takes decent photographs. It has a little bit of pro mode and all that, it does have HDR mode, works really well, it does have bokeh mode but not the best one, I'll use Gcam, you can install Gcam and uh, do your own thing with it, it does work out really well. One thing which I really do like is that this also comes with OS camera and that is not something to sneeze at because I really really like the OS camera in here, it works really well, it does have an actual pro mode, it has a actual uh slow motion mode which works and that is what i really really like now gcam is the biggest thing in gcam's armor is that it doesn't really work uh have slow motion working in audio i don't know if the latest version has it fixed but as far as i know it doesn't work but this one uh you can uh, still work with it i really like the camera package i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for camera now the aesthetics of the rom aesthetically it does have substratum support that is full-on rootless substratum works out really well Fun support is available and also I have mentioned that this one has accent colors uh, also it has uh, dark UI or dark options but as you can see dark options are not really perfect it does have a lot of chinks in its armor it doesn't really work all that good uh, dark mode at least but you will need to use substratum but because it has substratum it is pretty cool I'm gonna get a 7.4 out of 10 for aesthetics though now the overall experience of the ROM the overall experience of the ROM has been pretty good now I'm a huge fan of Resurrection Remix on official ROMs and I've already told this and every time this, uh, these ROMs are brought to the front I'm really happy about that because that gives average Joes or people who have a vision a chance to improve upon a very good formula. Resurrection Remix is a very good ROM with a lot of features and a lot of work and R&D behind it and for people uh, to improve upon that we are only going to get a better rom for it and i'm really really happy about that 
this ROM has been very really good for me and uh, I'm gonna give it a 7.7 out of 10 for overall experience. Now let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool and uh, if you have seen the official versions of boot animation, it's gonna be the same thing. Here is the boot animation for the Resurrection Remix and uh, it's a pretty cool boot animation but it is stock, it is uh, the official boot animation for Resurrection Remix so nothing much to talk about that. And yes, it goes to that. So guys, there you have it. That is the boot animation for Resurrection Remix and that is the ROM. Resurrection Remix unofficial. I'm really sorry I don't remember the developer's name. And if you need more information on what all things are improved or included in this ROM, like it does have a few more options in the kernel settings. Uh, this is HM kernel, but it does still have a lot more options like interactive kernels, uh, governors, improved governors, improved um, schedulers. It has a lot more stuff going on and it works out really well. So you have Alucard, uh, Smart, Ma Smart Mac, APS, a lot of stuff which is going on. You can read about that in the forum which is in the description below and uh, it works out really well for that. The final score is going to be about 6.8770 and that's going to go out about a 6.9 out of 10 which is pretty cool and i really do like that so yeah i guess i'm interested about the rom then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye